Hey guys, so today we're going to go ahead and get the back bumper switched out on the Jeep. So, <clears throat> we just got this factory back bumper, and I will show you here how it comes apart. So, we got bracket right over here, and there's a couple of bolts. Let's see if I can hold the camera and a light here. All right, there's a couple of bolts right here into the frame. A couple right here into the bumper. You could remove these from the bumper and get the bumper out of the way and then do this bracket, but I'm doing it now. Then there's that bracket right there that has, yeah, let's see here. It has a bolt right here and there's another one up here. So you gotta get that one off up there to pull the bumper away. And it's the exact same thing on the other side. So that would get this plastic bumper off once you get these off and that off. And then when you go to put the new bumper on, we're going to have to remove these because the uh, new bumper has bolts that go through this also. And we have to remove this. The new bumper we're putting on is a Motobilt. This looks like this right here. So it's going to bolt through these brackets here. That's why you got to remove that uh, that hook. And then the one where I said it goes through the bumper would be these right here. See that bolt? Yeah, let's see. I can't get the light quite right for you. Well, there's a bolt right here. I mean, a, a hole right here that a bolt will go through into the hitch bolts and one right here so this whole bumper will be held on with these three bolts on each side and two in the middle that's what these here are for these replace those right there okay so i will go ahead oh and it has these backer brackets I'll show you that when we get to it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump under there and pull all those bolts out. And then I'll bring you back and show you the rest. Okay, you get those bolts out. And this thing just lifts right off. It's very, very light. So you have to open the tailgate because the uh, recess there for the tire right here especially if you have an oversized tire uh won't allow you to take it off so you open that up and that thing comes right off of there so i'll go ahead and remove the rest of these brackets and the tow hook and i gotta take that off probably clean that up a little and i think right here on the sides uh, where'd that light go here it is right here on the side see where i got it's dirty right now but this is red well that bumper is only going to come back and stop right in here so i might scuff this up and paint this with uh trim back trim black paint um comes in an aerosol can and it's the same paint that you'll see on a lot of cars around the windows they don't have it on the jeep but like on some cars they'll be you know, a metal panel or something going down or between the doors. Sometimes they'll have a blacked out section. That's with trim black. So you can buy that and that works really good. Um, sticks great. That's what I've painted this frame on the Jeep with. So this whole frame is painted with trim black. <clears throat> so... We'll do some cleaning, and uh, and then I'll bring you back and show you how the thing goes back together. Okay, so that bolt right there goes through a plate that's on the back side. I don't know if you can see it with this light. And then you've got the hitch bolt goes right through there and through there. I took the hitch off because it's easier to slide the 
the bumper on and get it underneath the tailgate. I had the tailgate open like this, trying to slide it on, and I was by myself. If you had a helper, it probably wouldn't be too bad. But you catch on this piece because it sticks out some. So I took the thing off. I turned a couple of the bolts around. I had to put a wrench in through here, wrap drags around it to hold it, tighten it up. So I got that to work. And what you got to watch is you can get that bumper where it's nice and straight with the Jeep body. But then also double check your clearance down here when you open the door. Because I don't know if it'll show on here. But the door drops a little bit because of the weight of the tire on it. I'm sure there's an adjustment I can do to that. But there's something to keep in mind. Um, it's sturdy and needs to be washed. I had one bolt break on this side. That's a factory bolt. So I'll have to work on fixing that. Can't go all the way through. It's right where the... Well, I might be able to go all the way through. Anyways, I'll fix that later on. And uh, here's a good shot of how I painted this spot to help it blend in. Instead of having that red lip hanging down. <clears throat> so, there it is. Um... If I was ever to tow anyone out, I'd be towing them off of the hitch. I wouldn't be towing off of this location here on the bumper anyway. I would maybe use these if I was uh, winching and I had to two block something. I could see maybe doing that. Not two block. <laughs> two block is when you run the block up into the, to the other block. Um, so if I was going to use block on there to two part the system so anyway that looks pretty good later on uh i'll make a mount i got some little lights that'll go in there but i gotta customize a mount for them and then run a bunch of wires so that'll be a little later on down the road so there's the back bumper got that on and then here's a look at the front bumper Got the winch and the LED light. So there we go. Now I just need to wash the thing up and get her polished again. That'll look pretty good for a while. And then we'll get uh, down the road, it'll get some bigger tires on it. I like the way that looks with that drop there. Yeah, maybe we do want to go to a four inch lift. One thing I was thinking about is if you do, you do 35s, I think we can fit those with the lift we have. And if you do 37s, you can fit them with the lift you have if you go to a flat fender. But I think she'd like the look of a higher Jeep. A lower Jeep is better for four by in as far as stability but then you lose some ground clearance. Anyway, now I'm rambling. So there we go. There's the new Motobilt rear bumper mounted on the wife's JK. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And feel free to comment if you got any questions. See you on the next one.